हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेस्ट एंड मेजरमेंट पीपल एंड टुडे आई विल गिव यू अ डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ अ स्मार्ट मल्टीमीटर ऑफ द मॉडल नंबर ऑफ द स्मार्ट मल्टीमीटर इज सिग्मा ट्वेंटी एस फर्स्टली सी व्हाट इज इन द बॉक्स दिस इज द कैरिंग केस दिस इज यूजर मैनुअल दिस इज अ लीड सेट एंड दिस इज अ स्मार्ट मल्टीमीटर बट यू विल बी सेइंग दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेड द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन video of uh, this multimeter of sigma 24s uh, now i want to confirm you that uh, this is a version 2.0 model of this uh, sigma 24s so uh, i will give you a live demonstration that what is in it and what is the upgradation they have made in version 2.0 so uh, let's not waste the time and let's start the demonstration so as you can see uh, that the multimeter is of the same size as the multimeter multimeter is of the same size the same look the same at each and everything uh, yeah, you can see at the back uh, there is a battery compartment we i have already put the battery onto it and uh, so what is the 2.0 what is the upgradation they have made now this is the very uh, good part uh, the demonstration uh, matlab uh, the difference they have made in the version 2.0 is see here you can see uh, they have obsolete that ampere part now uh, for for measuring the ampere you don't have to select the switch to move into the ampere part you just have to use the these two terminals to check or calculate the ampere so uh, for the uh, for this button is to use for only for ncv capacitance and they have added frequency frequency of ac as you can know as you all guys know that in dc uh, there is no uh, frequency so that's why they have uh, added frequency into it and you can measure into either ac mode so uh, so let's not waste the time and start with a quick demonstration so let's start with it and uh, here is the lead set i'm opening it and uh, as i can see as you also know that uh, the quality of the lead sets are uh, decent and you can use it everywhere and these are the long term uh, lead set you can use most of the people and most of the most of the manufacturer just provide a normal type of a lead set so they have provided a good lead set to us so here is the common part here is the voltage part and we are switching on the instrument and uh, this is the whole of the backlight part and you just have to press it like this and you can see the backlight is on also the torch is on so if you are working in a low light environment the backlight is a must so i'm having a small battery with me so uh, let's see what they have upgraded as uh, they have upgraded the speed also of the instrument or not let's start it so it's an old battery it was really fast 8.05 volt okay and uh, now we should check some resistance i'm having some resistance with me uh, let's see to it yeah it's it's it is fast 10.00 kilo ohm so it is uh, smart multimeters uh, going into the smart mode and the, you can see the speed is increased also so i will check with another uh, resistance with me okay it's a 1 kilo ohm and it is also fast so the, now the main point is to check the ac voltage that is a see we will be seeing that uh, uh, is it fast in that range also or not so here it is okay my uh, i guess my connector is not working perfectly so it is showing you 221.3 volt so it is also working in a fast pass now is it again going back to the auto part if you can see or uh, if you can listen to carefully there is a small relay part on to it it just goes through that range check it and comes back again and you can uh, also hear the noise of that relay that it is turning on and it is going on to some uh, that range and checking and giving you the results so it's a smart it's automatic uh, 
um, multimeter and now we'll be going on to the current part that that is the main thing they have upgraded you don't have to change any switch only the wire should be changed here and now we'll be testing the current part So let's see the current part of this new battery. Okay, it is around 1 ampere and you can see it was also fast while testing the current of uh, this uh, DC, uh, DC battery. So uh, these are the upgradation they have made and I must say in 2.0 version they have upgraded, uh, they have reviewed all together what are the sort of the things which were uh, they want to upgrade it right now and they have upgraded at a, at a, a good thing they have upgraded so now these are the th three points where we have to check the frequency the capacitor and the ncv uh, well ncv stand for non-contact voltage detection uh, if you are uh, uh, working somewhere and you can see that there is some breakpoint or something uh, so while well, pressing the ncv you can see uh, that the wire contains uh, voltage or not so here you can see there are the live parts see it will be giving that the voltage ac is flowing onto it and now you can see if i turn and um, turn this point off it's now off so there is no voltage coming over there so you can see that there is no buzzer or no light now i will switch it on again means the voltage is flowing in it for capacitance you have to press it again and you can see that there is an nf written means the, uh, the capacitor. You have to put it into uh, these two wires only and you have to check the capacitor. But do uh, always check that you will be checking discharge capacitor only with this and uh, not uh, the charge capacitor. If you are using the charge capacitor, firstly discharge it while shorting the capacitor and then check it. And there is a frequency part. Let me check uh, the frequency, what is the least count and what is the range of this. So here it is, it is uh, measuring 50.2 uh, frequency, live frequency and uh, the least count of this is around 0 0.01 uh, frequency, uh, the hertz of it and uh, this is uh, for the time being now and do like my channel, subscribe my channel. If you are having some any question, you can uh, write it down to the comment section box. I will, uh, will be trying to respond to you as early as possible. So that's it for today. Thank you.